It took me over seven years to realize the true meaning of what it is to be a champion. Uh, TV and Western cinematography tells us that a champion should be someone who creates a instant magic every time he gets on stage. And in public speaking and postmastering, this is very true. If you're a champion, people expect you to be a champion every time you get on stage. A constant question that people ask me is the answer, when are we going to see a speech like chasing butterflies? With the same intensity, with the same magic. And my immediate answer is, Never. That speech, just like any piece of art, is a product of an artist's time period. The time period, the, the life that he's living at that moment. Great speeches don't come from great people. I mean, they do, but great speeches come from the time great people live in. For example, you will never see another Mona Lisa from Leonardo da Vinci. Just as you will never see, you will never see uh, a famous painting by Picasso repeated with the same intensity and, and the same uh, complexity. Expression is always a product of an artist's lifetime, uh, the, the time period that the artist is in. For example, uh, what stage of his life he is whether he's pursuing his dreams, who's putting pressure on him. And I guess to remember when I did my speech in 2007, um, the forces were just right to produce a, a speech that was absolutely compelling and gripping. Some people say that a, a champion should always be hungry, but this is very difficult to do because champions always find a way to fill their hunger. And if you're hungry all the time, it just simply makes you uh, greedy, uncontent. And, and I feel this is a paradox. We have uh, the TV version of a champion who is expected to win every time, versus the reality is a champion who produces something which is absolutely wonderful, feels content, and then decides to move on. But in more ways than one, society wants champions to not be content. They don't want you to uh, fill, their, fill your tummy up. They always want you to be hungry. And, and this puts artists in a very peculiar situation. They produce art, they produce something wonderful and they should, they should move on to something bigger, something greater. But then everyone around us uh, tells us that, uh, look, don't, uh, don't move on. Just try one more time and you know you can do it again and what we do is we make very greedy and selfish people out of champions and and this is the fault of competition i don't think competition should be uh, uh you know uh, a situation where uh, someone is asked always to be the best i think the first place in a public speaking competition should be given to someone who has proved himself and then moved on from that situation. Because I think that is the true mark of a champion, uh, when to really let go. And I think if you look at some of the former speakers or former athletes and champions who have consciously managed to say, right, I want to retire at the peak of their career, there are people that who have really understood this philosophy of not staying hungry forever, but staying hungry when it really matters, winning something, creating something beautiful, and then just simply moving on.